welcome to a new video. So today I'm setting up for a cake smash photo shoot. So first I'm going to show you a little bit uh, my setup and uh, some behind the scenes uh, from today's shoot and then uh, some final images. And I just want to give you a few tips and tricks on how to edit your images to make them look even prettier. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can show you uh, some examples with today's photo. So stay tuned for that. Uh, first, uh, let's set up. So it's a little girl who's coming. Uh, she will be uh, one years old in like four days. Uh, so that's exciting. So I don't know if she can walk yet. Um, we'll see how it goes. And if she likes the cake, we'll see. <laughs> So yeah, when you already know that you want to extend your backdrop uh, when you're editing, I would say get some decorations in the back that don't touch the edges of the background. So like with banners that go all the way from left to right, it's quite hard to extend the background because you actually have to clone the banners. Uh, in this case, the edges are just like plain solid color background. So I don't have to like use the stamp tool or like uh, clone things. I can just fill up the extra space on the side. I'm going to show you later how. First, I'm going to get the cake ready. I got some wipes. I'm going to decorate the cake a little bit more. Um, so yeah, especially like for the vertical photos, of course, I don't have to extend the backdrop. For the close-up horizontal photos, I don't have to extend the backdrop. But for like a zoomed out horizontal photo, I might have to. This backdrop is two meters wide and four meters long. So if you don't want to extend any backdrops in Photoshop, maybe you should get like a three or four meters wide backdrop. In my tiny studio here, I don't have that space, which is why I extend when I'm editing. So here we've got the cake, it's looking pretty. There's a number one on it and like a fondant flower, which we can move around a little bit. So I'm press it into the cake a little bit. Um, so yeah, beautiful. And then the decor in the back. Very pretty. So again, what do I have with me when I photograph? Cake smash, I have baby wipes to clean up the baby afterwards. Cleaning wipes to clean up the background. A little toy to have the baby look at me, bubbles, uh, and some plastic bags uh, for the parents to take the uh, dirty clothes home. I have a spoon as well, a clean spoon, so we can feed the baby or if they don't want to get their hands dirty, they get a spoon. And then the bathtub I will fill up later and I always ask the parents beforehand if the baby can have some uh, bubbles in their bath. Um, I have like 100% natural soap, it's from birds and bees. Um, so most babies are fine having some soap in the bath. Okay, so talking about extending your backdrop, that balloon right there on the side is gonna make my editing really difficult if it's gonna stay there. Because if I take a horizontal photo, um, it's gonna jump out of my background pretty much and then I have to edit all around it. And if I just move it in a little bit, I will have background on the side and it's way easier to extend it. So in this case, I'm just going to make it easier and move over the balloon. Great. So yeah, there's nothing here on the sides coming out of the background on either sides. Uh, here I used uh, fishing lines to hang up the hoops. So you don't see that, you don't have to edit it. Just make it easier for you so you don't have to edit anything extra. So here's the bathtub we're going to use later. Here's the dark wood decor that we can also use for some portrait photos. I really like how it adds something to the gallery if the baby's happy enough for it. Here I have some extra outfits which can be used uh, during the portrait part photos, uh, not during the actual cake eating photos uh, because they're just a little bit too delicate uh, to have cake smeared all over them all the time. There are some really cute outfits available here for the portrait photos. I have to organize them again by color. I <laughs> just washed a few again and I just put them in there. I love these old fashioned bonnets. They're so cute. I think they're really adorable for the photo sessions. Because normally the babies don't really wear them. Same with the boys' outfits, like the flat caps. 
And the little hats, so cute. So here again, you see the decor. Such an adorable little girl. Um, she was so focused eating the cake, uh, not giving away too many smiles too easily. But I still got so many beautiful photos of her and just adorable looking straight into the camera with her cakes and everything. Um, so it was great, gorgeous. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you just two, maybe three techniques on how you can easily extend your backdrop. Photoshop, nothing special. So first of all, what you can do is quite easily. You can just paint on extra backdrop um, in the same color. So you use a color picker to have the same color as your backdrop and with like a big brush, very soft edges, maybe even opacity 80%. So you go on it twice or 100% opacity, but just like very soft brush, brush over the sides. In my case, it's not a solid colored background it's a little bit like um it has some texture on it so it's i don't know how to say it in english but it's not a solid color and actually when you're using like daylight coming from one side or studio light coming from one side even a solid color backdrop on the photos will often not appear as a solid color because of the, how the light is hitting it it might have some like light lighter and darker areas on your backdrop so if you just paint on with a paintbrush extending your backdrop it might really show that it was painted on there but i'm just going to show you how i'm doing it it's decent like it's okay and another thing that you can do is use the band-aid tool it doesn't work all the time because photoshop um fixes whatever he she things is wrong by looking at what is around it and filling it up in a similar way. 
So sometimes you can get an extra arm in your backdrop because the arm was very close to where you were um, fixing your <laughs> backdrop and then it'll copy that piece of arm onto your backdrop. So then you have to like um, bandaid it out. So you can use the bandaid tool to fill up your backdrop, which I quite like because it's a kind of natural way because it looks at the rest of the backdrop and if that is like a little bit like variations in shade, it'll copy that, use that as well to fix whatever is um, sick, hence the bandaid, or like broken in your backdrop. So that's a way to do it. You can also fill up uh, your missing piece of backdrop using content aware uh, function in Photoshop. So um, Photoshop will also look at whatever is around the area that you're filling up and fill it up with a similar structure, color. Yeah, just uh, showing you how to do it as well. So those are like three ways to extend your backdrop. Um, I'm gonna do, show you a fourth one, which is the cloning tool. You can clone, especially when you use like banners, uh, copy kind of like a piece of banner and then clone it on there. And when you have like a garland in the back that really goes from edge to edge of your backdrop and you want to extend it, just make sure that it's bended in the same way because usually it goes upwards. So if you just copy a piece and then um, paste it on there, um, you can see that it's not going in like a natural curve, but because uh, it was cloned, it might go to not steep upwards. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, so people always ask me for like editing tips and tricks and now you find out that I'm horrible at explaining. So yeah, but I've shown you in the screen what I was doing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this uh, video. Just a little bit behind the scenes during a cake smash and um, showing you the final images, camera settings and um, a little bit of Photoshop, which is always interesting um probably in lightroom similar hopefully yeah anyway so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe and leave a comment love reading your comments and then hopefully you'll see me in my next video or a previous video because i already have tons of videos on there on kids my newborn maternity diys uh, stuff like that and then hopefully i'll see you in the comments have a lovely day bye bye